We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Keedron Smith, Miami Dolphins defensive back. I thought out of the UDFA's, phase, he was definitely one of the better looking ones. He definitely had a very solid game. He was making plays at the point of attack. I like the switch uh, to safety for him. He's definitely, you know, limited athletically, and he played corner coming out of Kentucky. Definitely, you know, fits him better, especially in this scheme. I feel like he's an intelligent football player, he's in the right position a lot, has a nice length, uh, pretty good size overall. He's willing to come down and hit in the box. He makes plays at the catch point. He's got good ball skills. He just understands where he's supposed to be, his responsibilities, leverage, things like that. And then, you know, watching this game against the Falcons, I came away impressed, but I think he does have definitely a battle to make this roster. There's probably like one DB spot that's really open, and I feel like he's fighting with like three other guys who have a very solid chance of making the team. So I'm looking, you know, possibility, like he would be a very high quality practice squad candidate it's a pretty good rep in man to man like he's motioning across he's definitely communicating I like to see the rookies communicating out here pre-snap communication and then he ends up getting man to man on a tight end as he's still moving away from that is able to change directions explode and close on this and make a tackle at the catch point almost make a play on the ball and then you know he did end up having two pass breakups in this game showing off those ball skills later on and here Keedron Smith makes the play down in the red zone in a fourth down situation very clutch very tough situation to be in. This is a, I showed this in the Cam Smith video, how Cam Smith had an effect on this play. But it's good to see them, you know, having that communication pre-snap that they're bracketing these two. They're going to switch this off. And when number two works outside in the flat, Cam Smith takes it. And number one just works up vertically and then hits the corner. This is a lot of teams do this exact con concept in the red zone because they know teams like to bracket these. And it puts Smith in a very tough spot to close because he has inside leverage. He's got to close on this and then make a play. You can see the length that he has, those long arms, and it makes a play right through the hands to disrupt this. Uh, very good job to uh, recover, get there in time. Very excellent play at the catch point. Uh, just really like his fit in this scheme. He's a young guy, and then, you know, don't really expect him to, if he makes the team to have an impact this year, but you can see him make a play at the catch point right there. Practice squad, you got to fill up those guys with practice squad because you never know with injuries he could get called up to the roster. I think he's one of those guys who could end up, you know, sticking with this team he, there's just a lot of bodies back there like I think you know Elijah Campbell Ruron McKinley those are guys who are going to make the squad just from what I saw in preseason week one only you know playing the first start of the game you know as like their backup safeties and they looked very comfortable at what they do out there very athletic very smooth I think Keaton Smith is like fighting with guys like you know Trail Williams players like that and we'll see you know who ends up getting that last spot here good to see the Dolphins in a cover six which is nice to see because if you're going to be playing in this system, you're going to be running a lot of cover six. Dolphins run it as much as anybody, like, or Fangio I mean, is going to run it as much as anybody. So it's nice to see this. He's to the, you know, uh, cover two side. This corner is playing flat, so he's a deep half defender. And they just look at the pre-snaps alignment. He only has, like, tight ends to his side. So he can definitely, you know, play with a lot more inside leverage. But they, he sees the play action boot happening. So he knows the flow of this play is going to be this way. So he starts cheating to this side getting his leverage over the top and then once he sees what the route concept is he breaks on it and then you know closes pretty nicely and makes the play right at the catch point again seeing that length he has very you know good technique you know get that swat going down get that ball out of there very good stuff showing off more ball skills and how his length can really help him at the catch point in those situations and just overall you know football intelligence just pre-snap formation reading the route concepts reading the that the quarterback's on the boot here so he can keep cheating. You can see him weave to maintain his leverage here. Uh, just great work as a deep half defender there. Cover six again here from Keaton Smith. This time a third and 11 situation, but he's to the quarter side, and he just gets over the top, help take away the deep route, the deep post from the opposite side of the field, which is nice to see, you know. He's on a one receiver side. They have, you know, a fullback in the backfield. And Keaton Smith, as a quarters guy, he's just kind of wants to sit here read what number one's going to do if he sort of breaks this down but since uh he knows i guess they have it depends on what the call is but they could either pass this off or the number one's going to break on this hard and then he gets back here to take over this deep post which is you know pretty good work finding the post route from the other side of the field they do that a lot with two-man concepts uh clearly that was like the play call this like two-man route concepts down the field and he gets over the top, maintains his leverage on that route, and, you know, never really gives it a chance to be thrown. Here to see him come down into the slot a little bit and match up versus slot receiver. This is a pretty good job. I mean, they're running like a 
more like a three match basically ends up being cover one type of situation but here just outside leverage playing top down and he does a good job footwork and then once he sees the receiver break he does a pretty nice job anticipating it and then closing on it solid burst he's not the fastest guy but he does get there so if the ball was thrown i think you know with his length and ball skills he had a good chance to make a play at the catch point doesn't get that target but i like what i saw you know from a footwork perspective and anticipation just honestly reading of route concepts he does a pretty good job with his route recognition overall in all types of coverage i like his versatility in that way and then here we get to see him you know from like a split safety alignment it looks like they're you know line up in cover six and he gets to come down and be involved in the run concept which is nice to see you know, limits this to a six-yard gain from his pre-snap alignment, which I think is pretty impressive. Definitely got to be able to do this uh, as a safety, come down, get involved. They're like in Vic Fangio's defense; they're not always involved in the run concepts. The safeties are versus run, you know, but you got to be in those run fits, understand what's going on. They usually end up with these light boxes, but he gets down here. He takes on a block from a receiver, holds him off, and helps get involved in this tackle uh, and recognizes it nicely. Feels the receiver coming on the crack back sort of takes him on with that shoulder creates that space isn't just control right here he knows he has he doesn't have to you know get to the outside of the receiver because there's force to the outside here and he just feels it helps take on the running back right there just nice to see him get involved definitely want to see that from your safety i don't think he's like the most physical tackler but he's willing to get down there and get involved he's not gonna you know hit you with a bunch of like because he's on the thinner side, but he's got the length. He doesn't have the most play strength, but he's definitely willing to get involved uh, down in the run game for sure. So it's nice to see that he doesn't have any big weaknesses to his game. I would say the speed thing is definitely why he, you know, he went undrafted, the athletic ability. It's not the most athletic player. That's why he switched to safety, because it just fits his game a little bit better. I like his coverage versatility. Love the ball skills and length that he showed in this game, just playing, you know, uh, on ball production is really nice and he just showed off like his football intelligence and I, I think that's why I would like for him to stick around at least on the practice squad we'll see who ends up making the final roster uh, even you know even if he doesn't make the final roster initially ends up on the practice squad he could still end up on the roster eventually uh, we'll see how that ends up playing out I think you know he's one of the UDFAs I would say Brandon Peely is the guy with the highest chance to make it I feel like after that he's one of the maybe top three or four guys has a chance to make this team especially if he keeps having a good preseason. If he has a good preseason, I think, you know, they probably keep him. Like, all three games, he really plays well. He plays like he did in all three, like he did in the first one. I think, you know, they definitely give him a hard look, uh, understanding this system. Uh, they just have so many defensive backs. The defensive backs are it's just filled with so much depth. Like, there is some injuries, though, so that depends, too, because, like, with Ramsey and Needham, like, we don't know. Well, Ramsey won't be ready for the start of the year, but we don't know if Needham still going to be in the, you know, PUP which players, like how many extra spots they're going to have just based on injuries for a little bit. So if that happens, he definitely has a stronger chance. I'm um, just looking forward to seeing how this all plays out. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.